Welcome back. You're watching Desi Plaza TV and I'm your host Karishma and we are having this very important discussion on the very recent uh, incidents that have happened in the in United States of America. Um, few incidents of hate crimes that has actually gotten the entire community together and uh, in fact the discussion has started and that discussion is very positive. Uh, it is getting a lot of uh, good feedback from everywhere and uh, the best part about this uh, discussions that we've been having uh, very recently, we had this vigil at the Mahatma Gandhi Memorial in Irving and where, where the, the council member and the mayor came and they spoke uh, in support of the community. It was very heartening to see the support coming from the mainstream as well. So it's just that the community is not alone. It's never alone. It's like we are part of this um, uh, American society and I think we should behave like one with responsibility. Sir, Shukraji, I would like to start with you. Um, the recent incidents, you know, has actually shook the community, especially the killing incident. Back to back, two murders happened. So what is your take on that and um, how do you feel about it? I think just like what everybody else has said, mm -hmm. uh, in fact, maybe I should uh, tell you one, another story. My daughters were born in Rajshir. Mm -hmm. So she, so for, and them and their other friends who were also born in Rajshir, mm -hmm. for them is, this is a big of a shock than, yes. than it is for me. Okay. Because they were born as Americans, they grew up as Americans, they always think of themselves as, American, as Americans, nothing yes. else. Yes. So for them it is a big shock. Uh -huh. And I told them, that you should be careful, mm -hmm. you should be vigilant, but there is no reason to worry about it. Yes. Uh, you, you've so seen it all. It. You have seen it all. You've been here for Exa many years. Exactly. And you've seen different uh, times in this Exactly. Country. And I have faith in American constitution, I have faith in American laws mm -hmm. and the system. And by and large, I have a faith in American people. Mm -hmm. uh, that is why I'm here. Mm -hmm. And we see that every, all the time, every time something happens, mm -hmm. uh, you see a lot of American people coming to help. Yes. And in any way they can. Mm -hmm. So I said, be careful, be vigilant, mm -hmm. but don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And as we have talked before, right, a lot of it is the misunderstanding, the ignorance. Yes. Yeah, and we were talking and it's about a human it. nature yes. to be uh, concerned, maybe be skeptical when you see something different. Yeah, and you so were we you were saying before that that we would be surprised at how ignorant uh, you right. know uh, people could be that people. they have not traveled out of state, right. they have never traveled out of country, exactly. and that they may not know who is Indian and who is right. uh, you know a different country. That's yeah. right, and I, and that's why I think it is up to us to make mm -hmm. sure that we break the ice, we okay. introduce ourselves to them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Once you come to know those people and once they come to know you, mm -hmm. all the uh, suspicion basically goes away. Yeah. So what one of the things we need to do, which we are not very good at, we are very good at doing our uh, job very well, our profession, everything, mm -hmm. but we don't take too much part in the cultural activities, the social activities, mm -hmm. uh, be, a, uh, be active in uh, PTA for example, uh -huh. and all sorts of other activities. Okay. Uh, I'll give you an example. We had a mayor in Irving, uh, Herbal Walker, and uh, I went to his town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. And one of the things he pointed out, that he says, Irving is a very diverse city, and there is a very large segment of Asian population here, mm -hmm. specifically from South, South Asia. Mm -hmm. But nobody is taking part in any kind of the civic activities or, sure. or sure. government or anything. Mm -hmm. He said, I, I want you people to be more active, mm -hmm. you know, and become in the government because you have a lot to offer to the society. You can really help the government and the society in general, but you need to be more active. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something we should also learn from a Jewish community too. Yes. You know, they are they also have the same kind of problem. Yes. But they are very active, very influential. Absolutely. So we need to take more part. Mm -hmm. We should also be in touch with our representative in the Texas legislature as well as in, in the Senate and the House of Representatives. Yes. And luckily we also have some of the prominent 
Indians were now in a very high position. Absolutely. So we should. We have Harvard's last name. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. And, um, and like, you know, Nikki Haley, who was the governor of South Carolina, Absolutely. who is now the ambassador of the United mm -hmm. States at the UN. Absolutely. And there are all kinds of other people in very high position. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we all should be in touch with them, occasionally invite them to speak to us and everything. Absolutely. And if you have any questions or concerns or any problem, we should be in touch with them also, mm -hmm. besides our own representative from our uh, jurisdiction. Absolutely. But uh, by and large, we have to be very active in everything mm -hmm. and show them that we are just as American as everybody <coughs> else. Absolutely. And we care about mm -hmm. uh, uh, America and we love this country. Yeah. One of the things that I notice all the time, which disappoints me is, that one good thing is that in any of our activities, we go to any kind of culture program in India, right? Mm -hmm. We always speak English, so which is good, right? But we always start with national anthem. Now, whenever there is a U.S. national anthem, only the generation that was born and raised here are singing. singing. <laughs> People from my generation, hardly anybody is singing, no, because yeah, they don't even remember they it. Don't they know it. Absolutely. That's not good. We should, we should know that yeah. and we should do that. that they, these are little, little, you know, nuances that we really need to, actually, we, we should be reaching there very soon if we really want to right. embrace the country. And I'm sure with the, the discussions like this, you know, it will come to the, you know, people who are listening right now. Yeah. And uh, while you were saying that, uh, you know, one incident came to my mind, I was talking to a distinguished person and who's a Sikh and he is, uh, he takes part in, uh, you know, multicultural uh, society in Plano City. And he mentioned a very important thing. He said that when I joined that multicultural society run by the Plano City, and they have this beautiful segment that every month they have this prayer day when they, you know, uh, they invite one particular ethnicity to come and do the prayer uh, their, from their side for the entire American mm -hmm. uh, community. And uh, he was surprised to know that even though Dallas Fort Worth has five or six Gurdwaras, but there was no Sikh representative in that multicultural uh, committee. And uh, when he reached there, he actually, you know, introduced them to the Sikh prayer. So. So his point was also uh, that you know unless until we mingle unless until we represent ourselves how would they know and then then we cry that you know nobody bothers about us. That's right. So we don't have to lose our identity, yes. but we should also become a part of America. Absolutely, absolutely. We should be. Yes. We, we, so everybody we feel mm -hmm. we feel comfortable. They are mm -hmm. we are just as American yes. as anybody else. Yes. And that is what we really need to do. Yes. Sir, I would like to ask you, Naji, that, you know, um, how do you feel about it? I mean, um, you know, the recent hate crimes, uh, the different communities. Do you mm -hmm. see it as that, oh my God, uh, as I, I was asking the same thing, that do we need to see it like with a controlled emotion? Or you also see that, you know, the thing, the way things are right now, the atmosphere is there, you know, due to political reason or any other reason. Uh, the passion is, you know, uh, everybody is so passionate about every little thing that happens in the society. Do you think that is the reason why we all are reacting like this? You know, we suddenly we are having, you know, uh, gatherings and discussion about it and feel, we are feeling worried about it. Okay, can I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, as the, you know, other panelists have mentioned, there are two aspects that, are, you know, we need to cover. One is as um, uh, the Srinivas Kuchibatla's uh, uh, assassination or murder uh, mm -hmm. shows there is a need to certainly educate uh, you know others about um, Indian culture but there is as a counterpoint to that there is a need that we have to get educated about the local culture here yes. so I mean we have seen several people here who is uh, physically they are here mentally they are still in India I mean yes. even after you know living here for 20 years see the as to the first point I mean I've seen like for example, many people boasting, oh, you know, I've come to uh, America with an empty suitcase and I've made this million dollars or millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't come with an empty suitcase. You came with an education and a uh, yes. 
a degree, you are a physician before, or you are, I went to IIT for example. Absolutely. It would be very stupid of me to say that I came here with an empty suit. That's literally true. Yeah. But you know, there is... It's not to, that you to, didn't come with that's, anything. Yeah, yes. to get that kind of education, what you know, yeah. most a country like India with its meager resources put in, yes. here to get into that, it takes a lot. Yes. So, as the reason I mentioned that is, uh, and people are jealous, you know, how did you get to you know, this state where how did you earn this much of money? They may not be knowing. They think mm -hmm. uh, that you know, you just really came with it where they, they are struggling every day mm -hmm. to get a college degree and why they are not able to get ahead. No, there is a, the people who came here from India, mm -hmm. if not 100% of them, lot of them are actually elite of the society in yes. terms of education at least. Mm -hmm. So there is a brain drain from India to here. Absolutely. I mean that's that might have contributed positively to both India and US, but that's yeah. a different topic. Yeah. But as far as people getting jealous about why you got there, mm. that's something that I don't think we ever stress that more people who got here, they are not all ordinary people. Then there are many average performers in India that's which well, uh, initially, I would like to hear, uh, right. you know, uh, interrupt you here that initially when people came, mostly cream of India came. But then when we saw right. that, we, we, when we closed, we came to in 2000s where there was a, you know, IT right. boom right. happened. True. Then a lot it, it's of... It's true. Uh, so yeah. that's why I said it's not 100%. Yeah. yeah. But people who come here have their left everything, so they come with a drive yes. to succeed in life. I've Absolutely. given up this, so there is a reason for success there. Mm -hmm. So, so that's and they you know, worked as per their ability. Right. Now I would say the Hispanic society when they came here, they worked as per their ability. So that's right. But but it's so so yeah. see, it's a lot easier across from Mexico to here. No, that's the <laughs> but then you know coming all the way across yeah. the globe legally, right? Legally. Like, so 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 there is a reason, different reason yeah. for that. We came legally. Yeah. But that that's something <laughs> that needs to be impressed in terms of it's not the fluke or we somehow we cheated the system. Oh, absolutely. Um, you, you still feel that there is ignorance in the middle because now because no, of the there is a need media. for it. The, mm -hmm. the reason is most <laughs> educate them. You know, they are kind of somewhat detached. Okay, you don't bother me. I don't bother you. Kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Which is fine. But when uh, something like this happens, somebody kills you. You know, mistaking you for a Middle Easterner, which is bad even when it happens to yeah. Middle Eastern. And so and I don't want to escape that. We are not talking about someone who is not educated. He is a Navy man. You know, he's right. educated and he's, he's been on the responsible right. position. Okay, so so there is certainly it helps if they understand mm -hmm. us more. Yeah. yeah. But that that's not to condone even you know if it was a Muslim, you know, yeah, shooting him is, is is absolutely deplorable. Yeah. Okay. The second side of it, as I said, our own uh, mentality, like we are mentally isolated. There's a big generation gap. Mm -hmm. You see, my son is one way, mm -hmm. I'm one way. We are happy, you know, interacting with our own. Yeah. Uh, you know, Tantex and Telugu culture is 100% of the mental. Yeah. You know, you are you are still there. You know, there's a hero from India comes. There's a car rally, yeah. 500 cars and uh, two feet. It, it see the and is absolutely oblivious of who is your um, House of Representatives here. I think 90% of the people don't even know. Correct. Then then what what's happening around you? I mean. Whereas in India, okay, an MLA election is happening, my constituency <laughs> is TDP contested against uh, TRS, so yeah. you, know, you know the you know, vote count, to yeah. it. they keep track of the details to yeah. that extent and being completely oblivious of uh, you know, what's happening around you. Yes. Why then, then you can't complain that nobody bothers about us. Right, you so, so you are yes, mentally absolutely. not here. Yes. So look at our voluntary services. For example, anytime you, there's only culturally, if you have to write a check, there is only one thing most of us know through a religious organization. Yeah. Almost is what the amount that you write to anybody else is meager. I mean, within the whatever that we set aside for charitable work. Mm -hmm. um, so when there are something happens, we write a check to India and send. But that's a, so there's a lot of poverty even here, right? Yeah. And there's a misery here. There are other ways we could contribute. If you don't have money, I could go to school and teach. There is a very very rarely you see. Um, any of us do. I mean, I had. What? It's it's growing. It's actually now a uh, lot of people are a lot of Indians, American Indians. They are thinking that way. Just now you said that we have to see what is happening around. A lot of organization now they're working on the ground for the local people. You know, right. coming uh -huh. from you know fellow Americans basically. You know, so right. things are changing slowly oh, yeah. and gradually. Changing, but but it's still part, there is a is very large right. need. Yes. You know, to understand the local uh, culture and feel part of it. Absolutely, absolutely. And and uh, you know, do your uh, part of whatever moves you. We 
all of us you know have certain yes. need to be you know felt um, to want to contribute to the society in in a way you can uh-huh. think of so um karanveer singh i would like to ask you um how much do you think in the core of all these hate crimes or the discrimination that we face time to time the economic problem or the employment problem um uh, responsible for that well uh you have quite nailed it and uh, as uh, my comrade sitting next to me has very mm-hmm. well uh, described uh, i would start with the initially when he quoted that uh, the segregation of uh, sex and religion mm-hmm. that we have uh, in the community back home mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i think sometimes we don't realize what we had back home the mm-hmm. the, the best culture the wealth and the social values to do it and those times uh, guru nanak dev ji when we, the society was pretty much segregated he said that uh, not only tolerance to those of other faiths and people who look different mm-hmm. but loving and respecting them is a cornerstone of our democratic society yes so it was uh, at that time like a 300 years back it was being summoned and lately uh, i think that same principle is very cosmic and global mm-hmm. and universal absolutely uh, i would s- say that uh, i recently had a uh, opportunity to talk with the one of the comrades uh, of the person the deep uh, rai who got shot in kent washington uh-huh. and uh, i think it was very surprising that kent is the town where they are predominantly uh, uh quite number of sikh majority lives mm-hmm, there mm-hmm. so that narrative of people not knowing who is who is being uh, uh i would say i take it away yes absolutely so sir uh, can you please park that thought when we come back after a short break we'll talk more about that we'll take it forward from there sure ma'am it's a time to take a short break we'll be right back stay tuned please